Hello everybody, welcome to a very special tutorial on the Filmora video editor. Today I will talk about AI. So simply add a quick text and if you double click here, you get the AI tool with which you can take the help of chat gpt by open ai filmora has embraced ai like nobody else you can select the topic of the content so it can be your youtube video ideas your video title video description so let's try some video ideas on five things to consider when buying a new home Output language, let's keep it English and uh, number of results to 5. So let's generate. So you get 5 different topics or ideas for the content of your next YouTube video. Now let's try to generate the script for my video, which I will do voice over. So there you go, you get the whole script, no need to hire anybody to write your content, simply use it to have the script ready for you and do voiceover or you can do text to speech and uh, it's so nicely written. Now using this script, I will also take the help of AI for the visual content as well. So no need to hire anybody to shoot photos or videos for you. You can generate photos using AI at the same time using Filmora 12 itself. Now for the AI image generation, I will follow the script. Firstly, location is key. Do you want to live in a bustling city or a more peaceful suburb? So we need two photos. One is for city apartments and the other one is for suburb homes. You can take the help of stock media, but with AI image, you can generate image as per your need. So let's first search for city apartments. You can change the aspect ratio or the image style. We will go with the freestyle for this video. So let's start creating. So this image is fully generated by AI and it looks good according to the script. So I can download the AI image and add it to the timeline. Let's try to generate images for suburb homes looks good but if you are not satisfied with this picture you can generate again so there is another photo for you let's download and use it in the project i have also added a photo of a school and a shopping mall following the script now let's talk about an amazing AI tool that is available free of cost on Filmora 12. So there I have an image of a dancing girl. What I want to do is I want to remove the background and want this girl placed on the original project. So simply double click on this media and you get an option for AI tools. So click here. Now chroma key is for the background in a single color. but since we have a multiple color background, we will use AI portrait. So there you go. The background has been removed with a single click. You can set the attributes for better recognition, but it looks good enough for now. It's as easy as that and so impressive. You can now resize it and place it anywhere on the image. Now, if you want to do it manually or if you have the subject that is not a human, so you can use smart cutout. Simply click here and a new window opens. Simply draw a line over the subject area and it will auto recognize. Just like that, you can zoom in and check whether it's perfect or not. The behind leg is left out, so I can also include that and also that. Once all is done, click here and it will start the smart cutout frame by frame. You can later edit each and every frame for perfect recognition. 
here is the end result you need to spend some time to make it perfect another ai tool i want to talk about is called ai auto stretch so when you add a background music to match the length with the media you can do this but the music ends abruptly and doesn't look natural at all so with the help of ai auto stretch simply click here and then drag and match the duration so the beginning of the music is maintained With the help of AI, it will remove some parts from the middle of the music so that the start and the end remains the same so that it doesn't sound unnatural at all. So this is the power of AI in the Filmora 12. Definitely download and try this software out. Simply Google Filmora 12 or use the link in the description of this video. That's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching.